Hi everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to install Shared CN inside your Vit or React app. Let's get into it. Firstly, go to the docs and go to installation. We are going to do this into our Vit project. So if you already have created a Vit project, you can skip this part. I will create my Vite project now. I will name it project one and I will go with react this time with JavaScript. I will go to the project run npm install now to set up our project we have to install tailwind run this now we need to initialize tailwind using this command this will create a ts config or Tailwind config, I mean. So it has created Tailwind config file here. Now we need to have a TS config file, but we are using JavaScript, so we will use JS config inside our project. We'll create a new file called JS config dot json and we will use everything from here paste it here this should do it now to step five what we have to do is we can in, we can skip this we can copy this from here and go to our read config paste it and now we need to install or initialize shared cn so what we can do is we can copy it run this to our project this is going to ask us a couple of questions we are not going to use typescript we will go with default choose any color now it's asking where us where our Google file is. So it's index.css. So we can write src index.css. So we can write src index.css. We are going to use CSS variables. We can leave it empty. Now it's asking for our tailwind config, which is right here inside the root, at the root of our project. We can just press enter for this. Saying we are not using server components. I will press yes. This should create components folder, right? Now let's close everything and try to use shared cn so what we can do is we can install button to test if it's working so it has installed button inside this so what we can do is we can go to app.jsx Let's remove everything from here. Put a button, which is com coming from components. Let's close it and call it hello shed cn. 
let's try to run our project. Let's open our project. So we can now use Shad C in our project. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one.